Okay guys, so you are here because you want to run The Simpsons on your, on your analog pocket and you're unsure how to do so. So this was released just a couple of hours ago. So I want to try and get on this tutorial as soon as possible. So it's quite possible that it's not available via one of the updaters, even though the updated guys are quite quick. You know, thing, people have things going on in their life. So it might be a day or two before this is available via the updaters, but I'm going to teach you how to create your own ROM using the tools and the main, uh, the main ROM uh, and, and create your own ROM that you can use on your analog pocket. And I'm going to do this tutorial in re real time. So bear with me. I don't like doing edited tutorials. I like doing it real time so you guys can see exactly how I do it. So first thing you want to do is head over to Hotego's Patreon. So you would need to be a Patreon subscriber. I'm a Patreon subscriber and the file is available for me to download. Now, uh, I'm not going to show any of the article or any of the stuff there because hey i guess you know that's some of the information you get for being a patreon but what i can show you is when you're a member you've got the different files down here you want to go over to jt friday 230811 pocket.zip and that's what we want to download that's that's going to give us the files we need so here we go we've downloaded that the next thing that we actually need to download is i'll leave a link to both of these i'll leave a link to hatego's patreon directly to the post so if you're not signed up it's a great patron to join to get some analog pocket games some betas they will be publicly released but they initially come out as beta betas and you can grab them so there'll be a link to this and there'll be a link to uh, this thing here which is sebdel's mra tool c so this is something you want in order to convert the rom now depending on the operating system you've got you've got linux and windows i've got windows so let's click on windows and from here once you're here, click on the mra.exe and it'll take you to another page. And over here, just click on this download thing here. So we're going to download that and that's going to download the file for us. Um, so let's just minimize this for now. So here's all the folders I've got. This is the download folder where I have just downloaded these two files. The, the JT230811 pocket, which will have the Simpsons in there and the mra.exe. Just going to tell you what my other folders are. So this is my main folder and this is where the ROMs are. This here is just an empty folder that I've made for the tutorial, which I'm going to show you everything that we need to do to get it up and running. And this over here is the root of my analog pocket micro SD card. Uh, so feel free to pause it and go back uh, to any of the steps. I'm trying to make it as, as clear and uh, as concise as possible and as easy for you guys to follow. So first thing we want to do once we've downloaded these two files is let's just extract this so use your favorite extractor i use 7-zip and I'm, I'm good with that but you can you can use whichever extraction uh, software you like so let's just go ahead and extract files i'm going to do that here okay so i've extracted files and just for good housekeeping i'm going to delete the zip so i can keep everything simple so now we've got the jt friday file in a folder and we've got the mra.exe so one thing uh, that i want to show you guys is the rom that we need okay so if we open that folder and in there you're going to see a bunch of files arcade mra pocket let's go to mra to start off with once we go over to the mra we've got an mra file in here now this is the main game so this is the four player version there's different alternative mras as well and uh, i'm what i'm going to do is i'm only going to show you one how to create this one in the tutorial but the same process you can repeat and you can get all the different variations like the two player version so if you're playing it by yourself you can pick the characters in a two player version if you're playing the four player version by yourself uh depending on what player number you are you get a specific character so let's go ahead and do that one first so if we uh, if we do open Open this file if you open it with um, a text opener this isn't required but this gives you the information that you need so if i double click that i've got it set to open with like notepad or whatever it is if we have a look at the file here there'll be a thing here called set name if you look at set name that will give you the main rom that is required for you for you to generate the rom for the unlock pocket so the main the main rom will be a dot zip what we're going to make out of it is a dot rom and that's what the analog pocket takes now if you've got a mister and you run update tool um you can use the uh, the rom that the mister uses the simpsons dot zip and you can use that to convert if not you're going to need the main rom yourself now i've got a main set that I, i'm currently using it's not the latest one out but it's fairly recent i've got uh mame 0251b but if we go into the roms folder within there and uh, sorry it's just going to there's a lot of roms here my, my, my computer's getting a little bit slow now i might need a new one soon so here you go i'm looking for simpsons and i found it okay so let me just go ahead and copy that now you can it's up to you how you do your stuff i'm just creating a separate folder in this i can i can show you the process and teach you the process so let's copy that 
And so this is where I'm doing the tutorial. I'm just going to copy and, and paste the ROM in here. So we've got the Simpsons ROM in here. As well as that, I'm going to copy this MRA file in here. So let's put that in here. Here we go. Excellent. And next up, let's go back to our downloads folder. So from within the JT Friday, the only thing I've taken is the MRA file. I've got the Simpsons.zip from my main folder over here. And then this file here, let's make a copy of this. And let's paste that in here, which is the MRA, the MRA tool, yeah? So let me just paste that in here as well. Right, okay. And guys, we're almost ready to go now. So all we need to do is we may get a warning first when we try and launch it. Let's see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we grab the MRA file, left click it, and grab it over the MRA.exe and let go of the left mouse button. Okay, so we're getting a warning. Let's, uh, let's click on more info and run anyway. And bang there you go you have now got a simpsons rom which you can now run on your analog pocket now i'm not going to do it in this video like i said you can repeat the same process for all the different versions of the mra exactly the same thing i've done here if you really wanted to you could uh, put the mra.exe in this folder grab the simpsons rom and then just do what i've done here one by one drag every single mra over the mra.exe and you will keep getting a different rom provided you've got the simpsons uh the simpsons.zip in the same one hopefully that's not too confusing if it is just stick with the first one and honestly use the same process to convert the rest of them okay so now what we need to do is we need to get stuff over to our analog pocket so what i'm going to do now is the way the folders are put together it's very 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 nice we'll go back to the beginning we'll go back to the jt friday one so this is going to give us everything but the rom so if we go over to pocket you're going to see everything's just laid out nicely so what you can do you don't necessarily need this text file but for the sake of keeping everything easy let's just go ahead and copy all of these so we've, we've got into the jt friday folder into pocket and now what we're going to do let's copy that right so this is the root of my analog pocket micro sd card and what i'm going to do find somewhere to click and i'm just going to right click and paste okay here we go so that's in there now so now what i want to have a look at in here so you can give yourself a clue let's just go back to the jt for the uh the folder the rom will go into assets so we know exactly where it is we are looking for uh jt here you go simson <laughs> without a piece of s-i-m-s-o-n so what this rom file once we're on an analog pocket let's follow the same trail so assets what we've got here is what we've got up here yeah so let's go into assets and then we're looking for jt simson so let me just go down to jd i've got i know i've got a lot of j stuff here so keep going down until we see jt simson and after this i'm going to click my analog pocket to the dock and we're going to see if this actually works. So I think I've passed it. Have I passed it here? JT. No, I haven't. Okay. JT, where are you? And like I said, I like doing this stuff real time. So just, just bear with me while I'm doing this. Here we go. We've got JT Simpson here. So if we go in here, right, we need to put this in the common folder. That is where your ROM, ROM goes. So on your analog pocket assets, JT Simpson, common. And this is where your ROM file will go. So let's copy the ROM file and let's put that on there now i'm not going to convert the other rooms just yet i am going to go and try this one and if it works we know the tutorial has been successful so let's try it out okay so guys here we are we are over on our analog pocket and it's just that one rom that i've put on there so let's have a look here now so i'm going to go over to fmg again all of this is is in real time so bear with me i do hope uh that it's coming across okay like i say it's the way i like doing my uh like like it's the way i like doing my tutorial so let's have a look okay so we've got jt simpsons in here now okay arcade compatible arcade multi so i've kind of got a new category here so arcade compatible jt simpsons here's the moment of truth now hopefully this runs was i'm going to be very very embarrassed okay so the alternatives are there we didn't do any of those but i'm just going to get in the folder so once you convert them you will have all the different versions of the simpsons but here we go simpsons four player world the moment of truth let me press that button is it going to load or pc and are you going to get embarrassed but everything is looking good that bar going up and here we are guys simpsons running on the analog pocket here you go so one player is just marge that's all i can be at the moment and i'm really sorry you're gonna hear the stick and i'm gonna actually let's have a look at the buttons because i do i don't like the default buttons so let's go controls attack 
Oops, sorry. And jump here. Okay, cool. Here we are. So we are playing The Simpsons, guys. So it works. Um, the tutorial works. Simpsons is working. We're playing it. And uh, I am going to be doing a full play stream on the Mister like later on. But I wanted to get this tutorial out because I did get a few messages uh, over on Twitter, and a few people, uh, a few people gave me a shout on Discord, just saying, look. It's been a while since they've actually made a ROM or converted the ROM themselves and they've forgotten the process. And to be honest, if I don't do something regularly, I kind of forget the process. And I, I sometimes have to remind myself by watching my own tutorials. So guys, if you're a Otego Patreon subscriber, uh, then awesome. Like you could be enjoying The Simpsons right now. So just follow the tutorial that I gave you. It really isn't that difficult. You know just get your head around it do it and you can be enjoying this arcade masterpiece so that's it guys i really do hope you enjoyed this video this uh, tutorial if you did then uh, thumbs up uh subscription all that good stuff is super appreciated take care of yourself take care of each other i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry ninja out <laughs>